Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, the next video, the next session of my Microsoft Defender for Cloud series. But before we start, I'd like to give you a short introduction about me. My name is Hannes Lagler-Grüner. I'm a lead cloud architect in one of the biggest consulting companies in Austria named ACP IT Solutions. Um, I'm working since the beginning of the cloud area, focusing on Microsoft Asia at the beginning. And over the time, I'm realizing it's a good idea to go a little bit more broad and also have a look to other hyperscalers. And you can see this is the reason why I have other certifications as well, like AWS and GCP. But my main focus and my deep dive focus is Microsoft Asia, and you can see it also on my certification list. I'm now two years and Microsoft MVP, and I'm really, really happy about this. And the reason for that is I love to share my knowledge. I love to share my knowledge with the community and also work with the community to uh, present new technologies on conferences all around the globe and also um, uh, present or give you an insight about products on my YouTube channel. You can see I have also a private uh, a social media profiles like Facebook, Twitter, Xing, LinkedIn for sure. I have my private blog called cloudblogger.at and you can find also uh, scripts, solutions, um, the presentation from all my YouTube videos on my GitHub repositories. So feel free, have a look on it and give me a feedback if it's required. Okay, so enough from me. Let's go ahead and talk about the Microsoft Defender MDC series. I've prepared or uh, I've recorded two videos in the past. So the first one is an, get an overview about Microsoft Defender for Cloud. What is Microsoft Defender for Cloud? What kind of products are included? And how can you handle, uh, how can you work with Microsoft Defender for Cloud? The second video is um, more a, theory, uh, a, 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 a demo session. So you can see in this video, um, what kind of options do you have to connect your environments like on-premise, like other hyperscalers? It's also recorded. And now today we are in the cloud security posture management um, video. So what is the benefit and what are the, uh, the functionalities from cloud security posture management? So let's go ahead. Microsoft Defender Cloud for Cloud. Cloud security posture management is the topic from today. It's from media type nugget, so which means it will take approximately 30 minutes and it's from uh, video category level 300. So uh, we are going a little bit more into the technical aspect and yeah, it's from the technical level 300. Okay, so let's go ahead to our uh, agenda from today. So we have a really, really short theory section as well uh, uh, followed by the live demo. So first of all, we are talking about what is CSPM. Uh, CSPM is the short name for Cloud Security Posture Management. Why is this so important? Um, why should you use the secure score? It's included in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud and why it's so important for you to, to use it. And what kind of plans are available from the CSPM Cloud Security Posture Management side. And at the end, we are going to switch over to my live demo and I will present some functionalities and also how can you handle, how can you work with CSPM and Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Okay, so let's go ahead. Why CSPM? CSPM is really, really important for you in when you work with cloud because Microsoft, and this is really important, Microsoft do not secure your environment from misconfigurations. So always keep this in mind. When you provision, when you deploy services in Asia, Microsoft doesn't fix misconfigurations. Um, you are responsible for that. For that task, you are really uh, responsible. And Microsoft Defender for Cloud, including the cloud security posture management, helps you to find misconfiguration. It gives you also an hardening guidance. So 
for example, a really, really simple example. So when you have um, a storage account in Microsoft Azure provisioned and you allow public access to the storage account, you will get the notification, okay, it will be maybe a good idea to switch it back to only private access. And the second one from the storage account perspective, when you provision a container and container is uh, from the access level public, so uh, from, from access level containers, uh, which means everyone and anonymous access is allowed to the container from everywhere, this is really a misconfiguration. And Microsoft Defender for Cloud give you here a recommendation and also a secure scoring, which is really high to fix this issue. Microsoft Cloud Security Posture Management gives you also a visibility to your security from your environments. So not only uh, from Asia, all requirements, also all environments which you have connected. So for example, uh, when you have uh, GCP, when you have AWS connected, when you have more than one Asia subscription and maybe also on-premise um, uh, environment connection connected, you get an uh, visibility of your security and also at the end a secure score of all your environments. And the perfect thing here, the, the, the awesome thing here is everything in a single pane of glass. So everything is centralized in Microsoft Defender for Cloud and you can see all environments and the secure score from all your environments. And this is really a huge benefit from Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Cloud Security Posture Management. Okay, so we talk about the secure score. Why is the secure score so, so important? Because you understand, as to, to understand your security posture so about all your environments. So like on-premise, AWS, GCP, Asia, you can see everything in one place and you can also see the secure score based on uh, different um, compliance standards. So. Normally, the Azure Cloud Security Benchmark was included, and when you on, when you onboard AWS and GCP, you also get AWS and GCP Cloud Security Standards, which are um, an, a summarize of many many configuration of many many um, settings which are required, which are recommended from Microsoft and also from the communities. And everything is in one place and you can see it in the security uh, score. You have also the ability to connect other or to um, add additional international standards like NIST or uh, CIS, what you prefer. And the thing here is you get a better understanding of your security posture and for sure a review of your compliance state. And really important, we know everything, uh, everyone knows, okay, there is an Asia portal, portalasia.com, uh, and you go to the cloud security, uh, you get to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud, to the service itself, and you have um, access to it. But did you know there is also a mobile app available, available, which you can use to get the same information like Microsoft Defender for Cloud, you also get the secure score, you also get your recommendations on your mobile phone. And this is really, really cool and really a huge improvement in this section. Okay, so that's the secure score. Let's go hand over to what kind of plans are available. It's really simple. So we have two plans at the moment. The first one is the fund fund uh, foundational cloud security posture management capabilities. It's for free, it's for everyone free, it's for every subscription for free, so you get recommendations, you get also a security recommendation, misconfiguration, um, um, uh, informations inside Microsoft Defender for Cloud. You have also a continuous assessment, so it's not a single assessment, it's a continuous assessment, which means, which means um, every 24 hours, you get an assessment from your configuration and we'll see, okay, what kind of products are new and is there a miss or the security configuration in place. You also have the secure score in place for the foundational uh, CSPM, which is for free. And when we think about the Defender plan, so there is a new plan available, 
The Defender Cloud Security Posture Management, it's currently in preview and for free. But uh, I think when it's GA, uh, it will cost something. And with this functionality, you have much more. You have, for example, the governance uh, section. You have also the regulatory, regulatory compliance. You have the Cloud Security Explorer. You have a tech path included. And it's really huge. It's really, really cool. You have also the agentless scannings for VMs in Asia, as well in the AWS at the moment. So these are the two plans which are available and I will show this also in my live demo which we uh, start in a few seconds. So about the live demo, what we will do, so first of all, we, um, I will want to demonstrate to you how can you find the different plans, what is included. I will also show you the secure score itself, the recommendations and how can you work with recommendations uh, assigned to user, fixed plan and so on. Okay, so let's hand over to our live demo. Okay, here we are. We are now in the live demo section. So you can see here I have my service, Microsoft Defender for Cloud. And this is the overview pane. And you can see here I have my three connected environments, Asia, AWS, GCP, and on-premise environment is also connected. So where you can find the different um, plans. First of all, let's go to the environment settings and select the environment which you want to change. So in this case, I have here my subscription, in this case, my Asia subscription. And you can see here, I have one of 12, of 12 plans enabled. So let's go to the edit settings section. And here you can see the Defender plans and you can see here per default when everything is disabled I have the free version, the, fundamental, the foundational CSPM and I've also enabled here the Defender CSPM which is uh, at the moment in preview and it's for free at the moment. What you can do here, uh, what you can do here is uh, enable or disable it. And you have also here a coverage monitoring section, settings section. And when we click here on the, the agentless scanning for virtual machines, edit configuration, you can see here, you can also exclude VMs based on uh, attack. Okay, this is from the settings from the uh, plan perspective. So we have two plans, the foundational for free plan uh, which includes uh, the scanning, the recommendation, the misconfiguration, but it doesn't include uh, the agentless scanning. And when we go here and uh, scroll, uh, skip, got, uh, go back, and you can see also here regulatory compliance, and this is also not included in the free ver uh, version. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to our overview and let's select our Ada Asia. You can see here, our Asia environment, you can see here, we have here our secure score. And let's go ahead and go to the secure score or go to the settings from the secure score. You can see here we have one subscription, one account, one project. This is one AWS account and one GCP project. We have here 700 72 unhealthy resources, we have, we have 166 recommendations in this case. So when we go uh, a little bit deeper into the details, we can see here we have a secure score of 61% for our Asia subscription here, for my private subscription. And the goal should be to get 100%. Uh, it's really important to always have the focus to get 100% secure score. And to achieve this, we can go to the recommendations itself. So go here to the recommendations from the Asia subscription. And we can see here on the top right, also only Asia is selected at the moment. And we see, you can see here the recommendations and let's go ahead and talk about uh, one recommendation, which I mentioned before um, about storage account, you can see here storage account public access should be disallowed. 
So we have here in our environment um, seven storage accounts and five of seven storage accounts are unhealthy. And on the right side, you can see here different uh, options what we have. We have here a denial list, we have here a quick fix, and we also have a preview recommendation a setting here. So when we um, open the setting, you can see here uh, what is the severity, freshness, freshness interval, uh, what is also the tactic. You can see here the five storage accounts which are unhealthy. We can see here the two storage accounts which are healthy. And to fix the problem, we have the, the uh, two options. The first option is to go to the storage account and set the options manually. Here are the steps which are required. The manual re uh, remediation here. Or we also have here a quick fix button. And this button uh, set this configuration settings here uh, automatically if you want. So we can go here to the VPN troubleshooting, click on fix, fix resource, and the back end a a remediation task will be executed and change the settings for this storage account uh, to disable public access to the VPN storage account on, um, um, uh, in the configuration setting. What we can also do is, in this case, we have here a storage account and we know there's a public access, but there, um, uh, we, it's required to have a public access. We can here exempt the um, settings here for a time for this storage account, set the expiration date or um, the, uh, the category and so on. And when we do this, the issue about the storage account will be uh, fixed, will be, this, um, um, will be hidden in the future and it will take up to 30 minutes. We can also assign, uh, for example, when the storage account, we know okay, the storage account is from another department and we, we should delegate um, or we, we, we want to delegate the, the, the fix, to fix the issue to another uh, person, we can go ahead and select the storage account, assign an owner and uh, add here an email address, test at test.com and define also a due date and apply grace period and also here the settings Okay, notif uh, notify owners weekly when the task was overdue and um, yeah, notify the, the owner itself. So these options are available here. So it will take some time. Then we have fixed the, the uh, issue for the storage account as well. We have much more settings here. Not only from Asia itself, we also have MFA recommendations and when we uh, go to other um, hyperscalers. So can we go here to the recommendation? You can see here, enable MFA. Um, on the accounts, you can see here, okay, this is, also, this is all uh, fixed. So we have no issue here in the uh, MFA, MFA section. But when I select here AWS as well, you can see here, I have here one problem in my AWS account because 10 of 10 AWS STS accounts doesn't have an MFA authentication. So this is really, really bad and we should fix it also. And we can also select here the GCP section to enable uh, the GCP security score and also the recommendation itself. And now you can see all your endpoints, all your uh, environments which have recommendation and what should be fixed. Okay, that's it. That's from a short introduction, a short live demo from uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Cloud Security Posture Management. Keep in mind, it's really important to have it in place. There are two plans available. There's a free plan available which should be uh, monitored in all environments. And there's also a paid plan, maybe in the future, Cloud Security Posture Management, the Defender plan, 
which brings you uh, regular regular compliance settings, which brings you also the uh, agentless functionalities, the agentless scanning functionalities, and so on. Okay, that's it. That's from my session from today. I hope you enjoy it. Give me a uh, feedback on Twitter or on LinkedIn or what, what you prefer. See you soon. Goodbye.